think there's actually a few topics. So I'm going to throw a few topics out there and then we can go with whichever one we want to go with. I first suggested habits. Mm. Talking about habits. JP suggested talking about the most recent emotions being felt within the community. And then a third topic that I think we could potentially talk about today would be... So we have habits, emotions, and what's going on with us and what the community can potentially plan to see over the next two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, because there is a lot of work happening in the background, mm. which we think is going to add a lot of value to all of the members from everywhere across the member journey, whether someone's just starting out, whether someone's just got into platinum, whether someone's just got into the system, whether someone's looking to take their game from making... 500 a week to 1,000 a week or 1,000 a week to 3,000 a week. There's a fair bit happening. So three topics. I don't care which one we talk about, but I'm going to come up with the ideas and you guys can decide which way we go. So habits, emotions of the community or plans for the community. I think habits and emotions go together, so we'll go there first. Sure. Um, I assume you're talking about a lot of the stuff that was happening on Saturday with some of the messages, Discord messages. Mm. the general vibe in yeah. the community yeah um it's funny because would you say it's the general vibe though or is it uh, a not, more sorry. A mi- a, like yeah a minority in the community yeah that's wrong general's wrong minority's more correct yeah um not singling out those people, no nah, but it's course, a minority but because yeah. well majority's it, fucking great well I'd yeah the that's is that's the thing it's funny really because good. you don't hear f- much from the ones who have the really good emotional control and the right mindset and then because they sort Correct. of don't get involved in the discussion because they don't care mm. about the short term, then it looks like You're only it's saying that, more yeah. people um, that are in the minority, even though... Oh, it's the classic case of like reviews, right? <laughs> it's like a bit, bit of a tangent here, but it's like you only sort of express your feelings if yeah. they're somewhat negative or something like you're not going to be like hey today was an average day i'm going to comment into the chat saying today mm. was just a normal day because why would you do that that's just a nothing yeah exactly sort of thing so they're generally the comments you get are either quite polarizing and obviously on saturday they were polarizing by minority in you know the way that we didn't really but uh, i think that's expected like people are going to be um it, it's a, it's a constant struggle to um i guess humans are creatures that need constant reward for what they do Mm. um so for example even like in our business we have we have the same thing like we sometimes go through ruts where we're like even though we're working and we've had an agenda to like not focus on a certain thing yeah subconsciously like well i'm not getting any reward from this i'm not going to see any reward for this like i don't know six to twelve months you're kind of like oh fuck it'd be so much easier to just go and like yeah do this (coughs) so what do you think a good way for anyone who is struggling to see the long term obviously we always talk about a long term and you're talking about it now and like use your own past experience and previous experiences related to business if you have to it's like when you're doing an activity that you know in the long term let's even use the gym for instance you know in the long term it's going to pay off but in the short term you know you might not necessarily get the reward for effort straight away how do you tell yourself it's okay in the long term this will pay off is it a matter of just just doing it or like is there any well, particular way you can th- go about it there was a certain member that i've spoken to heaps in uh my channel and he's had like three calls now three calls yeah and he was having a sook on saturday and sunday sook. like full on sook <laughs> and i told him this you and, told him that, and so he yeah. came back to me and said yeah sorry a bit too emotional sorry for saying all this we don't want him to say sorry right the reason why we call out like the sookiness if it happens is because in his message, even though he was sooking and he was going over the top of the sooking, I'm like, yeah, whatever, that's fine. He wrote, no matter what, I'm staying here for 12 months. Mm. So he doesn't care. Like, even though he was sooking, even though he was complaining, even though he was ranting, whatever, mm-hmm. the bottom line was he's staying for 12 months. And if that's all you do and you still sook, as long as your behaviors don't change in the short term, if you get to 12 months, like, what, what happened in month two, three, one, four, six, day one doesn't matter because you're going to get to month 12. But if you don't get to month 12, yeah. then all of a sudden your sookiness caused you to miss out on what happens after 12 months. Yeah. So I think if you want yeah. those rewards, like what actually can you do in the short term to actually get them? Like speaking of gyms, speaking of making money, is there a quick fix to getting the results you want? I'd, so I'd say there isn't. That's so you're no, either sitting not. on your ass or you're 
actually doing it and working <sighs> towards it because Th- there's, there's no small wins, but you you can't uh, rely on the small wins. I don't think to keep you going because no, if you're relying no, on them, in then nothing there's yeah. no kind of guaranteed short wins or. Well, l- what about you? You did your ACL right, yeah, and you were like playing very high level footy, and you had two options. I'd say how will be eighteen or seventeen when that happened. Eighteen. Uh, just said nineteen. Okay. Then, I reckon you said eighteen. No, just said nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyway, you you did that, and you had a choice. W- you, you could have sat there and sulked and gave up, or what did you do instead? Started, started betting. A <laughs> lot. So you did the old um, <laughs> the approaches like. Yeah, well, I couldn't. I couldn't go to the gym. I couldn't train. I couldn't really go out. I was stuck in my bedroom for. Um, quite a period of time. So, did you? I assume where you're going is, did you like sulk about it? And well, obviously there'd be disappointment naturally. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of. It was like the end of the season. And at that point, I was just like, like it was just a huge blow. And yeah, like of course. A few days sat in it, and then I was like, yeah, well, I can't actually do anything about it. So, interesting. You worked that out at such a young age to be able to deal with it like that. Because I, I would say you probably took the distraction approach which is something I've done my whole life. Whenever there's a problem, I'll go and do something that distracts me. So for me, that might be like going and working harder or playing chess or going to the gym or whatever, which is not wrong. But for some people, they might argue that if you have a problem, you deal with it and you go deep and you cry more and you fucking suck about it for yeah. a longer period of time, but then you get over it. Um, but I feel like in this case, the overarching sort of solution is actually sook but if you want to but like your sooking ain't going to change anything it's well not going to help you back to like that it doesn't do anything it's no. there's no short-term gain from that that's Correct. the you either put yourself in a hole or go for the long term you, you can sook from it. but it won't change the fact yeah. that you're not getting results until you get to month 12 yeah well you're going to get results along the way but you're not going to get what you actually want to achieve until you actually get there yeah so it's either be the long term yeah for long term or don't, or do don't. Shit. literally yeah, I think a way to potentially see it as well is sooking is not going to bring anything positive. Correct. Like when we say, all right, yeah, you know, you can feel frustrated, you can sook as long as you get to month 12. Why would you actually even want to sook? Want to sook? Yeah. It is going to bring nothing positive. When you do eventually inevitably get to month 12, you're going to look back and be like, well, why the hell was I sooking there? There was no point. I'm here where I am now. Like I'm 300 units further into profit i'm my knees back i'm ready to go i'm lifting heavier well, at the yeah. gym why was i sooking 11 months ago obviously that's a short-term focus the reason you are sooking but it's not going to bring anything positive you're only going to beat yourself up you're only going to make it more stressful for yourself you're only going to be in, in your own head more you're only going to be more exhausted more frustrated there's nothing positive there but of course it is very easy to it, it's, it's still hard to be like well i don't care but when you look back on it 12 months Later, you're going to be like, well, that, oh, that was a wasted that, effort. Back to my knee, that short period of time at the start where I obviously was upset about doing it, like I'm just thinking about the short term of the next kind of few months, not thinking about the 12 months ahead to where I am now. Literally. Mm. So it's... Of course. Yeah, yeah 100%. And the, the, one, the reason why I told that guy I was being a sook, like I sent him a 25-minute voice message, it's because he's been here for six months and he's made 120 units. Yeah. And he's sitting there sooking. I'm like, bro, made 120 units. Like, what are you talking about? 100%. And he's like, yeah, okay, you're right. And then he sent me some messages back and I got to get back to him. But just like, (laughs) just like, like, don't choose to zoom in on a certain period of time because you feel shit. Yeah. Actually Um, focus on what the fuck actually is real. And that is the fact that the math is there. Yeah, (laughs) exactly right. It's, it's, you've obviously got different types of members who are on different parts of their journey. And some members who started four weeks ago yeah you know they obviously don't have that history behind yeah. them to validate that oh no this is long-term sort of thing so it can be a, it's, it's obviously they haven't seen it it's harder for them yeah. they haven't seen it for themselves so it is harder for them but then that leads me to a question to you lenny now that you've gone through an experience like that where you have you know had a very serious injury um obviously you know impacted you the way it did if you were to ever have another serious injury like that again obviously touch wood hopefully that doesn't happen would you find that it would be easier, harder to... Well, I have an answer to this one for him. If Lenny ever got another long-term injury, I know how he'd pass the time by watching the system's content on YouTube. 
there's no better way and there's no better habit than you should get into than pressing that subscribe button so you never miss anything that we post. Back to you, Lenny. <laughs> so, I think you understood my question. Yeah, there. so, yeah. like, it'd obviously be shit to have something like that. Of course. Game, but I think what I've learned from it mostly is just you have to kind of live in reality with it. There's nothing I can control in the short term and change to make my situation better instantly. You kind of just have to go through the process to, mm-hmm. um, I guess, reap the benefits, which is recovering or making money in a different situation or whatever. Sure. They always say going through those experiences makes you stronger. Do you reckon it's made you stronger? Yeah, for sure. From these yeah. learnings that you I'd say had. it's one of the worst things in my life, but it's also changed my life for, for the better. How so? Just the things I wouldn't have done. He wouldn't yeah. be here with, if yeah, I don't okay. reckon if he didn't, yeah. not to say that, but like... So this is, yeah, that's on his a match betting bit started. of a butterfly effect sort of yeah. change, but yeah. Well, it's cool. I think that in itself just shows, yeah, sort of opens up other doors, up other opportunities. Going off on a bit of a tangent there, though, but... What, what was the um, habits one? The habits, well, I guess we're sort of going into yeah. a, a little bit of habits here, you know. If you've if you've seen an experience, I mean, this is a little bit different, um, but I, I think habits are very cool. I've just started a new habit this week. I'm trying to start a new habit. Um, that's why I've had the idea. I am shocking at getting out of bed when my alarm goes off. <laughs> Absolutely shocking at it. I like to sit in bed. I check I Facebook. Had eight snoo- I woke up. I Dude, you do alarm right. was four thirty this really morning, early. and I got out of bed at seven. You woke up at four thirty and got out of bed. My at alarm seven. was set four thirty. Yeah. Why would you set your alarm Sorry. at four <laughs> thirty? Okay. Now I feel better about myself. That's. Bad. But I went to bed at like uh, tw- uh, eleven thirty, so I would have had five hours sleep, and I couldn't get it. Like I was fucked. Oh, but you you were going back to sleep. You weren't just piss fighting around. No, no I was supposed to get up and come in here at five. Yeah, yeah, but like. No, no, I slept. You slept. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I mean, when you've gone to bed. At you know, oh, you're saying sleep. sitting in your I'm bed saying on I your phone. I'm saying I sit in bed, go this on my is, phone. This is partly the reason why I sleep on the floor. Solution to that, put your phone outside and put the alarm on, but you live in fucking I disagree. House. I disagree. The solution to that is just get up. Yeah, but hang on. If you if your alarm's going off, if you probably can't do this because you yeah. live in how many people in your house? There's two other people. Could you put your alarm in the kitchen? No, I probably couldn't. <laughs> It'll wake the bird up. Because <laughs> the bird. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, off topic. But the other week, I got a battery change with um budget direct and the girl that came with the battery had a fucking lorikeet or something on her <laughs> shoulder <laughs> and she's i'm like what's the go with the bed she's like i'm just looking after it I'm like where's this follow follow you around everywhere she's like yeah it's like i've had it for two weeks and the, the thing she's like full fixing my battery and she's got a bird on her shoulder <laughs> I'm like, what? I call Laura. I'm like, right? Laura's inside. I'm like, can you come out of the bed? <laughs> like, can I ask my fiance to come out? He's like, yeah, if you want. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it's like, why you fucking got a bird and you're doing like battery changes? No, like, my solution to that was just <laughs> sleeping on the floor. Hey, that's my solution. Well, that's why I sleep on the floor. Well, because you want to get out of bed. No, because like that you don't want to get out of bed. I'm not I fucking lying on the floor change. anymore. I just get up. Yeah. Are you still sleeping on the floor? Yeah. Really? How long is that? Huh? How long does that mean? Uh, coming three up three weeks, four weeks. No, it's over a month now. Be no six weeks. Yeah, hey, right. Yeah. What are you What are you feeling about it now? Obviously, when you started it, it was furu, the greatest thing ever. How are you feeling six weeks later? Yeah. How How'd your no. vegan thing go? <laughs> <laughs> That's dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's dog. <laughs> no, it was funny because you wanted to try vegan. I mean, I didn't <laughs> try it. it four days. <laughs> a four and a half days. It was. What happened on day two and three, or three and four? Three and four. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the toilet. Oh, no, it was day, day four. I was on the toilet 18 times in 24 hours. So, 18. I mean, I maybe if I had some more mental toughness, could have pushed through no, it. No, that's not <laughs> mental toughness. But, uh, yeah. That was the end of my vegan diet for four and a half days. Did you ever go back? Um, I'd probably try it again, but try and plan it a bit differently. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's not easy. Yeah. What well, I don't topic? know if that I don't know if that is the sol- oh I still think well I still think we're still on the habits still on the habits I don't know if that is the solution sleeping on the floor Lenny. Well, you haven't tried it, so how can you well come yeah I personally like the set your phone outside your room have to get up to turn it off yeah mine, I put mine in the uh, like in the toilet in the ensuite so I have to go but yeah same principle yeah hmm. yeah I don't know I, I think I think they're like I don't know whether I just honestly think the best way to do it is just I'm going to do it. Like literally, just say I'm gonna fucking do it. But but sometimes yeah, but you're actually not like conscious you when you when you're half asleep. No, I guess I always am. So I guess for me, but like if, if say well, it's you like, go, uh, bang, do you, do you make your bed every morning? No. Nah. 
Do you, Half the like, time, Laura's still in there. Yeah, well, that changes things as well. But I, when you I would s- never made your bed in your but life. But no, I don't make it now. I think, well, anyway, <laughs> for, for my I. experience with habits, you, if you build a small habit and you continuously yeah. do that into a habit, it makes it easier to build the next one. 100%. Habit. Yeah. It's like I started probably two years ago making my bed. I religiously, every single day, that's 15 minutes, make my bed now. Um, and it's just, it's so normal now. So now doing a little bit yeah, harder. Yeah, that's of a, valid for sure. A little bit harder of a task is now a little bit easier because I've done it once and I can just do it. I remember when I was like 15, I never brushed my teeth. I was like, just fucking start brushing your teeth. Never brushed your teeth. Yeah, it was horrible. Dental what hygiene was shit. Else. I was like 15. But anyway, <laughs> that's um 15 minutes. Who grows up and doesn't Oh, I brush my teeth. If, if like you're I did, but like not like twice a day, every single morning. If every you're, single um, morning. Like I'd be like, have nights. I'd be like, oh, I see. If you're watching this and you're a Platinum member, make sure you're in the Telegram announcements channel because a b- bunch of you are not in it. So if you need it, it's in the general section of the Discord as well. A bunch of people aren't in it, missing out on information. Yep. Anything else? No, that's 15 minutes. Done. I'm gone. See you next time. Cheers. So if you want to learn what match betting is and how to get started, there's a free course linked directly in the YouTube description. Goes for 60 minutes. It contains a number of videos explaining how it all works and how you can get started for free today.